Friday will be the second pay period. More than 800,000 government employees will go without a paycheck. And now Atlanta's mayor is working on a plan to help TSA employees during this government shutdown. CBS 46's Glenn Marshall joins us with that side of the story live outside of City Hall with details. Well, I can tell you that this is going to be for TSA employees here in Atlanta. Now, they didn't say exactly how much money they, they were going to be getting, but this came down just days before the Super Bowl comes to Atlanta. Now, on a talk radio show today, Mayor Bottom said that her team is very close to securing money that will give TSA employees some financial support who work at the world's busiest airport. She also discussed working with a credit union that supports the city of Atlanta employees. Now, TSA workers have gone 32 days without receiving any pay. Sick calls have gone up to 10% in the days leading up to the Super Bowl. Mayor Bottoms is looking to change that by making some funding available. Her office sent us the following statement, quote, the city of Atlanta is deeply concerned about the impact of the federal furloughs on local hardworking residents' ability to take care of themselves and their families. We are currently evaluating how the city and our partners can provide financial assistance to TSA and CBP employees during the current federal government shutdown. An announcement is forthcoming, so exact no, there's no exact word on when those funds will be ready for those employees, but we'll keep you guys updated on this as soon as we receive more details. For now, we're live here in Atlanta. I'm Glenn Marshall, CBS 46 News. Glenn, thanks so much. The shutdown is on the mind of Falcon donor Arthur Blank. During an appearance on CBS This Morning, Nora O'Donnell asked Blank whether he's worried about how the shutdown will affect security. No, we, all the funding for uh, the event has been, you know, been in place for a couple of years now, so we have no concerns about that. We are a little concerned about TSA, but we've been assured by them that uh, they've moved, they're going to move 120 additional officers to uh, Atlanta, so I think the experience will be fine. Our Super Bowl coverage is just getting started at 5. Coming up, advice for homeowners, so many of you hoping to cash in on Airbnb. High Rollers, too, will be in Atlanta for the big game, of course. And our Vince Sims is showing us what you get with a million-dollar Super Bowl package. Just peanuts. Uh-huh. CBS 46 <laughs> is the only station broadcasting live inside the Super Bowl fan experience. Coverage starts this weekend. New at 5, we have new information and in the sexual assault investigation at Opera Nightclub. CBS 46 has learned that the victim in the case has hired a prominent sexual assault attorney. He is now speaking and expected to speak with our crew any minute now at a protest for the victim. CBS 46's Haley Mason has been on the story. You've done an incredible job keeping us up to date. Haley, uh, what's the very latest? Yeah, right now, Sean, that this group of protesters is out in front of Opera Nightclub for a second day demanding justice for the victim. Take a look behind me. They say that the person on that video who they think drugged and sexually assaulted a woman inside of this club over the weekend needs to be held accountable. The organizer of this protest has been communicating with the victim who CBS 46 is not naming because she is a victim of an alleged sexual assault. But her attorneys this afternoon the men to the left in the suits are representing her today. We spoke with them on camera right before this protest started. It's horrifying. I mean, it's absolutely horrifying um, that a sexual assault was actually caught on camera like that um, to see the anguish that she was going through um, and to see that nothing was done about it. But the video speaks for itself. Um, she's clearly screaming no. Um, it's terrible that that happened and we want to find out how it happened in there. That is prominent sexual assault attorney Chris Stewart this afternoon speaking with CBS 46. He was just hired by the victim today. I'm told she is back in St. Louis where she is from. She was just here celebrating her birthday weekend. They have the video. They say she has done a sexual assault kit. They're waiting on the results of that. Again, Atlanta police investigating now not releasing the name of the suspect just yet. We'll be out here at six o'clock where we hear from the victim on the phone. Reporting live in Midtown, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.